basic number one, you have to first see that the activity, the basic activity of the company in which you're investing, is it halal or not? You cannot invest in shares of an alcohol company or shares of a company which is selling pork or shares of a conventional bank which is dealing in riba. So if the basic activity of the company is haram, investing in that share is haram. This is the first criteria. There are various criteria. The second point to be noted is that you have to see to it that there is no involvement of interest in that company directly or indirectly. Besides the activity not being Islamic, you have to check. It should not be an investment company where they give money on loan, etc. All these are haram. The second factor, as I mentioned, is that you should see the cash debt ratio. That has the company taking so much of loan from the bank and it's running its full business on bank, then the ratio is very high. So different organizations which certify the stock to be halal, they have different criteria. Some people say up to 30% allowed. Some say no, it should be less than 20%. I particularly feel that best is zero or it can be, if it's less than 10% better. So the cash debt ratio should be minimal. 